a great responsibility. You know, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be in you know, a leadership role here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just who I am. You know, I just want to turn things around out here. You know, we got a great football team. We coach really well, so you know, we want to we want to have that reflect. You know, on our record and our play this season. So I just feel like uh, I got to speak up. So. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I don't take it lightly. You know, just being able to play the game, and so with the you know the little accolades that came along with it. Um, you know, I recognize it a little bit. You know, hard work you know, kind of paid off, but you know, it's obviously you know the team's first. So when I hit all those same marks, but have a better record. You know, and do be playing you know, late in the season. <clears throat> Does the win and loss record eat at you from last year? Or is that done? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You know. Definitely know, you know, that wasn't up to par, but uh, it's definitely going, you know, new team, new faces, new schedule. So we're excited with the challenges ahead. I mean, I think we can take a huge step. Uh, just, you know, we, we ran a ball pretty well last year, but, you know, we just, there's always room for improvement. And uh, just the way those guys work, you know, I, they, they, they set that goal, and I think they're going to achieve that goal wherever, however many yards they want it to be. Um, you know, the, all, those five up there, the tight ends, you know, just watching them work day in and day out in the weight room, you know, on the field really locked in group up front, so I'm excited about what we can do on the ground this year for sure. Uh, that was the floor. You know, that's what me and Coach AG talk about. That's the floor. You know, I want it to be I want that to be the lowest I rush for, you know, in my career going forward. You know, so I definitely got a lot of work to put in, but that's the floor, not the ceiling. How do you build off of that? Uh, you build off of it by you know, punching the clock every day, you know, taking it day by day. You know, just gotta be in shape. It'd be awesome to finish my career here, but no, nothing changes. You know, so if anything, it's time to turn it up even more. You know, going into my last year in the deal. So, um, yeah, thankful that I'm, you know, I got the chance to see the last year of it. So I'm going to go into it, give everything, everything I got this year, and uh, we'll see what happens next year. Hopefully, stay. But you know, I understand the business. Benson, uh, man, Trey's awesome. Man, he's uh, just like a sponge. He just wants to learn everything. He asks some questions. Um, he's just showing up to work every day. You know, he's got a great work ethic. And so, um, yeah, the addition to the room. He's gonna help us a ton this year, you know, just a big physical back, but he got speed obviously too. So a uh, beautiful combination of what he can bring to the table. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ride, we definitely gonna ride this year. Remember when I first got there, you know, I was like Marquise Pouncey, James Harrison, and and being close to them, uh, understanding what it takes, you know, all those guys was in year 10, 11, 12, you know, so I'm just kind of picking and choosing, like how do I get to be in year 10, year, you know, year 12, and, uh, Doing what they do, and that's recovery, and but also um, bringing more to the table than just making plays on the football field. You know, being somebody that brings other people up. You know, it's a, it's a leadership and responsibility role that comes with it. So I just got a chance to see that, and uh, you know, now I'm living in it. So kind of, I guess you could say I manifest it. Man, uh, he's a leader, and I just say that because he's he's coming into it. You know, it's um, you know, before I before I you know when I got to Arizona, it's kind of like. You know, who was a leader here, boom, boom, and sometimes you're just a product of the environment, but that's no longer the environment here, you know, and so he's, he's making an effort to bring the guys close, you know, he's bringing the offensive line with him, and so uh, he's trying, and that's all we can do is just try our best, and that's what he's doing, so it's been awesome to see, you know, we've been to a couple of things together, um, we got even closer, me and him got closer, but also him and his offensive linemen and stuff, so, man, he's uh, he going to have a great future in this league, that's because he's putting his best foot forward. Do you think about him, James? Like just getting to know him more and more every time you learn something new about him? Uh, man, meeting his family, you know, just uh, his connection on a deeper level. Do you think that what he had to go through last year just to be able to get back on the field, that that kind of pushed him to do a lot of those things and improve it, not only in football, but in all the other things? Uh, uh, yeah, adversity, you know, when you go through some adversity, you got a decision on how you're going to bounce back. So he's just trying to check out the right boxes, and he's doing he's doing a damn good job. He's doing an awesome job. Kyler is doing amazing. He's doing awesome. He's putting his best foot forward. Um, he's a heck of a football player. His evolution is growing. We're all growing, you know. So yeah, he's doing an awesome job. I think he's gonna make some plays for us. I think he's gonna open it up for us. Uh, he's explosive. He's got great hands. You know, every every time he catches the ball, it's gonna be concentrated on it. You know, so um, yeah, hopefully he open things up for sure. I would love that.